Damn it, he came straight for me. Fuck. Since I did this, so I'll just keep running. What is well up inside asleep. me? I feel it in my head. Jack, it's it stone. If I do not stop, he does not get you. You, yeah, you there. Come what on. do you want? Sleep. That's sleep. No. You want yeah. you'll do sleep. I'll find Go. you. Exactly what I need. Control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. Just need to find a way to stealth past the kitchen room. Keep their sleeping bells.
polamine, morphine, or opium. Fucking hell. My new Why friend's sleeping pills. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. Well, technically, you can. It's your feet that you need to do stuff for. Locked on the other side. Boy, this is a pain in the ass to fucking find the thing. I feel like it must be on the other side because that guy's navigating there more. There's more risk there as opposed to this side. So it just make more sense gameplay wise.
I thought for a second that I got away with that. Holy fuck. It's a nice picture of Cthulhu though. Like, holy shit, that fucking... The crows! They're everywhere! Make them go away! Wasn't a diversion enough. So where the f to go for that diversion? Because I thought I was meant to get those keys, right? It's just another locker. Where the fuck is the exit then? The green gas leaves from here, and it runs through the hole. This valve controls the pressure. Padlock is too complicated for me. Padlock is too complicated for me. How the fuck is he detecting me? Oh, who's fucking from in there? God 
beautiful video games. You should be able to see me through that. It's Thank fucking the best no game on. You there! Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Hmm. That looks like fucking what's his name? Yeah, that was cool. Okay, the door goes both ways. It's a video gamey door. Fuck me. There's no winning in this game. I swear. There's another fucking wheel. It's like a thousand fucking wheels here. Jesus Christ. I'll go take a look. Stop walking around this fucking table. Is there here? No, no, there isn't. Just fucking quit it. Seriously. His AI is so fucking strong, holy shit. Is that difficulty setting in this?
this dead end. It's nothing in here. So no point going that far back. I almost feel like I need a map because this is getting a bit confusing and overwhelming, but. All the levers are activated. Straight in there. <laughs> Instantly fucking lose the sanity. Fucking holy shit. Dude, it's like you're fucking dying. It's like you just... Maybe it's claustrophobic. Maybe that's why you lose the sanity so quick. Because like, holy fuck, dog. This guy's got no. I'm just shaking, huh? It's almost like I was gonna fucking die. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. It's not like I was just a bit shaking. Fucking hell. I like how that's always just a single fucking use. Like, what kind? Ah, oh, so I'm gonna explode the room with a big zap. This lever device. must turn on the gas machine. Piping hasn't burst. Not yet, anyway. Locked on the other side. Ugh, that's stupid. Jesus Christ, yeah, that's one hell of a distraction. Holy shit. Well, that was just gassing the one fucking room. The lair side just opened out and it's fucking. <laughs> oh. Okay. that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. Dig to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't I go you. anywhere. It'll find me like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me or you'll end up the same way. Talking about Cthulhu, buddy. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from myself. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? <laughs> the doctor me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. 
he wants to give me back my eyes. <laughs> and yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. <laughs> yes, that's Sarah. great. Out of the book. Her and that's her great. accursed paintings. Because no You're one kidding. wants to see him. That You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. Look <laughs> just drives him insane. The one and only. Looking at him. The legendary. There is no artist Too more enlightened. Or cursed Stand. than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. That we should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! <laughs> don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? Sarah Hawkins visitor! The Shambler! Sanders, pull yourself oh, together. Seen it, Without her, it. it's no longer possible to save me. I saw before is this is this motherfucking Cthulhu? Who goes there? <laughs> I love the dig teases to Cthulhu. A nightmare again. I need a drink. <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare, bro.
fact that I keep the lantern pretty much just no. a bruise. I want to know what thing. Bradley and Dr. Colton have to say about all this. Dude, you're not even going to comment on the house? We're still torn up at the top half. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... There are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? to the game and when they're like are you insane or not everywhere. it's weird because I haven't even seen that much weird other than the cold bear it I was screaming they injected but me there was one scene and they're pushing I woke up at the hard. institute Bradley was there and how you scared us you seemed demented you likely woke up during the anesthesia no wonder those memories haunt you what in God's name were they doing to you? An explore. What happened afterwards? Cthulhu areas. When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. Uh, his arms crossed. After you released me, look terrible. I got a good look at what's in store. For but it was just not resting properly. Crushed arms are really hard to do. Hallucinogenic gas fair, pumped into the cells. This is shoulders Infernal look better. Machine. Horrific that medical time. experiments. The other time is impossible. Doctor Fuller would never better. do such a thing. But you should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? I trust Bradley more than Colden, even though... How the fuck is he alive? I found a dark water PD batch. Lost a colleague recently. What the... Bradley. Ethan? I'm all right. I just had a... That's gone. You're sure? If it's important, it'll come back. But I can't explain why Dr. Fuller would have that badge. The man's a danger, believe me. What can we do, Pierce? <laughs> How can I not fucking... Why do I have to be a medicine professional to know that... <laughs> He should be dead. <laughs> what I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that? I hope there's a new game plus, just the so I can Charles start with Hawkins everything. Survived the fire. Fucking pro I don't understand. Out. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? You two know each other pretty well. It's a tiny island. Everyone knows everyone. Especially since I'm a police you officer and work, well, he's a doctor. The chemistry is obvious. <laughs> I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> Way off, you mean? Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. He's always seemed quite fishy. Bradley, uh, what do you remember? After all I don't understand your question. Game anyway. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion. You don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then... Uh, then what? I... Uh, <laughs> the rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? 
I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel. I don't. Let's talk about something else. Given the energy into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. I feel like nothing so far would have changed with my decisions. Yes. And as you could tell, Dr. Fuller I just feel is like, like some more crazed information so far. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you I mean, wish it was to the one thing else? in the asylum which was like that helped out, but I don't think that was more of a a choice thing. It was just kinda like he can help you or he can't. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sand Subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? <laughs> Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller did. It's the truth, Ethan, and I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. That's all I had to say. <laughs> Sorry. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins, and that's what killed him. How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins, a visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's Just involved? How is no one talking about how the house is in perfect Mr. human condition now? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. So up and like you know, Francis Sanders shit. was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. Mm, fuck He's it. He's right. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. <laughs> Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. That's fucking... Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Dude, it's fucking ridiculous how 
honestly, that's alright. <laughs> Holy shit, I fucking whacked that guy. What can I do for you, sir? I like how Pierce is just being like, fuck everyone, gotta get the truth. That's all that matters, no one else matters. Who cares if they die, go insane, or whatever. Can I come in? Just truth, bro. That's all that matters. However, before we go any further, please know uh, that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Oh, it's well, a cat. Well, look who's here. Mo well. This is becoming more and more like Batman with a fucking cat villain and shit. You know each other. But now Luke's ties come to Briefly. an end. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. You it's a small island, detective. My island. Suck it's better it that dick. it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Holy shit, Why? your hair is a pain. Who hired you? you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case. I'm <laughs> well, Getting since this business has got nothing to do model. with me. I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. I the one of those this way, Mr. Pierce. One of these days. And do make yourself comfortable. It will Probably seem will, that actually. Much to tell me. If she isn't already a fucking half monster, some shit. May I inquire as to when you had the oh, opportunity God, to talk to my husband? Know. Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Yeah, it was. What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had Why lost his so reason. I can't even he suffers no longer. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Allow me such a platitude. Of course. He's, he's like Thank you for your kind like words. Nobody in that no. hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will look require up, more up, than that face, yes. to soothe my but. mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And is... Did you not do anything to help him? What the fuck would I be able to do? <laughs> but like... God damn, this guy's just... Cameron's going crazy on me. <laughs> just like bouncing down all the time. It's the first time I've had to actually get my character to look away from the titties, but... I share your grief, but I had nothing to do with the, the true culprit. That's fucking bullshit. I would either go that one or this one. Yeah. It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. She's real mad. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. 
do. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. Because you can look For at my the part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery. Act. But if you're so how they eager to see the it. Monster. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Forever be remembered by millions so people know what it looks like. Did she really care for him after all? day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Oh, that's kind, kind of weird. Seems kind of weird to do one of these here. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? That's a good fucking question. It does sound kind House of, of artists. Crazed by any... Yeah, because he's like, that wife is like, Ugh. The house of artists. That's so lit up, but that's not a fucking a thing. Xander's accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? Maybe she just didn't like the money he was giving him. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? See what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Phonograph. Okay. It's pretty easy to find. So Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. It's inside my head. I he wants it. to kill himself. Just behind my eyes. Tries. Each time I shut my eyes. Who yep. is fuck? I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed. Paintings that accursed Sarah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Fucking. Wait, is this the right way? Oh wow, this is a winding fucking house. Alright, what else? I'll go fucking anywhere I want, man. The strange Amerindian pendant. Whoops. That's my call weapon. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting to finally give it a an old it's diary. Boss, cool look at this way. Or you just get fucking guns away straight away. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Perfect, detective. The pretext, the body language, I would have bought it if it was the first time I'd seen your face. 
You're a good talker, Pierce. Your story will do for the moment. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Annoying is more like it. Would you read the book? Is this... <laughs> is this really like the fucking... Oh, okay, it's just a... Except to read an unholy book. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Holy shit. Shaking. Wait. Am I just permanently shaking now? You would do as you have gone through, have left that mob. But you still manage as best you can. You keep your mind busy in order to chase away doubts of painful memories. You still have some way to go. Who knows where your mind could lead you along the paths of insanity. It's almost like a health bar the way they do that. Interesting. There's probably four segments to that. Yeah, fuck, I'll go this way. I didn't even touch it in the car because it's under the door, right? Oh god, there's a hiding spot. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> the guy was fucking like just jerking off there. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Like, why is it bleeding? Like actual bleeding. Yeah. Thank you. I'll look through the rest of this gallery just in case there's anything here. Spots I can refill ink. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Hmm. Maybe he was a cultist. Or maybe he was just a guy that likes weapons. The public entrance to the gallery. <laughs> yeah, okay, you usually try and open doors, not talk about them.
men will gather the knowledge through the lines dictated to me by the great old ones. <laughs> Alright, already talked about the great old ones. Barely even talked about Cthulhu, and now we're already talking about great old ones. Holy shit. But also in other volumes, the visions that assail me whisper me names and silhouettes of mystical creatures. Seeing the Malleus Monstrum. Um, repository of all anatomical, cosmic, and dimensional knowledge will be seen as an authoritative work. This book in Unholy, um, among the most cursed books, will one day be the final remnant between man and the predators that are waiting to devour him, hidden behind the veils of parallel dimensions. The extract taken from Malleus. That's not even a second quotation mark there. It's a bit awkward. Do I have to stealth past him? Is my here? Every time, though, that's a way better fucking pod, though, than the fucking. What the hell was that? Right. So, what's my mission for me? Um, examine the. I don't have a new one.